So I'm Cole and I got Char Lake Yattle. So as you can see, they're white. And they're one of the oldest French breeds of cattle. We know them as continental cattle. Um, and they were used from everything from draft to milk and meat. And they originated in Charlet, France. And after the French Revolution, a uh, very well-known uh, breeder moved his herd to Nevernay, France. Uh, the province there, and those cattle began to thrive, and they kind of formed their own branch, I guess, of the Charlet breed. And then later in 1919, uh, those two breeds came back, branches of the breed came back together and condensed into one herd book. The Charlet cattle didn't enter the American scene really until after World War I. That's when the first one was brought to Mexico by a soldier who saw them over there fighting became very interested and wanted to import them. Uh, however, the, their advance into the United States came to a pretty quick stop uh, with foot and mouth disease. Um, so once that, once they start, started to enter the United States, uh, it was about the same time uh, that yield grades were introduced in 1965. And so that's when America was kind of switching from the baby beef stage of quality grade driven cattle a much larger scaled, heavier muscled, leaner type cattle. And you know that just is what helped push Charlets into uh, being into the popularity they received at the time because they're known for being a large frame, heavy muscled, lean, later maturing type of cattle. And so that fit very well uh, with the changing times then. Due to the early shortages, uh, of genetic possibilities, um, the Charlet Breed Association began accepting about a 97% uh, percentile of Charlet as being purebred. And in order to do that, they had what they called a breeding up program, where if you bred a Charlet bull the same line for a consecutive five years, you would hit that. 31 out of 32 or 97 percent and be accepted as a purebred Charlet. In doing so, um, they did actually introduce the whole gene into a normally uh, horned breed of cattle. Charlet cattle are still very popular today. Um, they're used a lot in terms of two and three breed rotations, terminal type scenarios, uh, just a lot in terms of making kill cattle as well as in the show industry. So with that, I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and learns how to use this better than I did.